Welcome everybody, I'm outside. It's minus four and this is the S25 Ultra. Let me show you something guys. The phone is running with 11 Celsius. If I have to measure something here outside, it's gonna see the surface is like four Celsius, but outside is minus four. So it's really, really very, very cold, all right? The phone has been outside for like 15 minutes and you can see this is one of the best possible cooling solution. Although my test with the Xiaomi 15 and the Snapdragon 8 Elite indicated that not even the fridge or the freezer can beat you know, a bowl of water with a lot of ice. Nevertheless, guys, I'm gonna show you. I started Geekbench on this device only once. This is out of the box inside at 24 Celsius ambient. I got 3,180 on the single core score and 9,838 on the multi-core score. In this video, I'm going to repeat this, doing it with minus four, then I'm going to also try to play Grid Legends Deluxe with only the FPS cap removed to see if with minus four outside, I'm able to get more FPS. Yesterday I did a test inside 24 Celsius for like seven minutes, average 40 FPS with almost uh, seven to eight watts power consumption. Uh, before that I played it for hours, so it wasn't ideal. But guys, let's see how much is going the S25 Ultra achieve with the Snapdragon 8 Elite being outside and running in a very hostile environment. Again, servers here you can see 5.4 and the phone itself <laughs> below 10 Celsius. So my bet is I'm going to get hopefully more than 10,000 on the multi-core score and I'm going to get a crazy high number on the single core because this thing here is the Snapdragon 8 Elite 4 Galaxy, which means that it's slightly overclocked and the big cores here do run at 4447 megahertz. All right. I'll let you see what happens with Geekbench. I might then as well also do one round of 3D Mark Extreme to see the highest score inside it was 6,800. And then I promise we're gonna be doing some gaming and this session outside is going to be Crit Legends that looks oh, it's really freezing outside. But yeah, if you appreciate what I do guys, just please go and watch some of my other videos and now let's speed up. <laughs> I was right, all right, just by a tiny bit, but we got more than 10,000 guys and the phone, <laughs> only 11 Celsius, so 10,037 on the multi-core score and 3,163, so just for comparison guys, this was my first result, so we got from 9,838 to more than 10,000 and from 3,118, actually just a tiny bit more on the single core, which isn't bad because I achieved this thing directly out of the box, guys. Now, before I start Grid Legends Deluxe, I wanna test one round of 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme just to see the high score that hopefully I'm gonna get. So remember when I did my previous test measuring the performance but also the power draw which with the perf talk by we test the highest score here was 6800 i make it to understand if we will be getting more what about 7000 well let's just see and honestly guys with this temperature outside <laughs> 9.8 guys it's no joke i mean if you live in a place like this uh, and it's cool in the winter, then yeah, you don't need <laughs> active cooling, right? All right, let's just see how much we're gonna get here. All right, yeah, 7,059, guys. This is a new high score that I was able to achieve. This is not bad. And um, now, guys, without any further ado, I'm going to start the game that I promised it's gonna be Grid Legends what I wanted to show you is I'm using settings graphics and not the performance one guys all right so it's this graphics one and remember guys I am playing the game at the stop game resolution so I did not disable the dynamic resolution the only thing I have removed is the 40 FPS cap so hopefully right now I'm gonna be getting 60 FPS for a longer time compared to how much I was getting it yesterday. Again, I played for seven minutes after hours, and then the average FPS with ambient temperature of 24 was 40, okay? So it's not really great, the fact that the FPS cap is 40, but guys, 
when you play with the FPS cap on the graphics, you're only getting anyway 30 FPS. So I see 10 FPS still game. And now, guys, I do hope that I'm gonna be getting more. As you can see, this is not really going so well. It, I, this game is just so crazy, and it all depends on the racetrack and also the weather. So if it's raining or say if it's the night, it's gonna be tougher. But it's very good to understand that even with ambient temperatures as minus four and minus five right now, probably you're still not gonna get 60 FPS you know, on the graphics mode. And this is without even unlocking all the graphical settings as uh, some people are doing like deep stack from the Tech Nation 365. When you do so, it's going to be really a mess, like 17, 20 FPS, and you probably need a red magic phone or something very powerful. Uh, but honestly, running this game with unlock extreme graphic settings on a 60 FPS, I don't think that any phone can do this on the market any chip. Maybe, maybe in one year, maybe in two years. Nevertheless, the performance is quite good, I would say, because I'm getting slightly above 40 FPS. Right? So I'm just thinking, yeah, there might be some gains <laughs> running this outside. Although sometimes it drops below the 40. But nevertheless, guys, this is a very graphical intense game. And now playing this track in the night with that many lights. Now imagine this is the game stock resolution uh, I also did change it to 1080p and it wasn't <laughs> better of course so if you put this up to a 32 inch screen like I do or 48 it's not gonna look great with that resolution uh, but with 1080p it really feels almost like a console game nevertheless now I am also below the 40 FPS so right now I don't think that there are any substantial gains uh, when you just cool it from crazy and, and I really kind of knew that because yesterday I used my cooler and it didn't really do anything significantly better guys this is a very very tough game and uh, I'm just thinking yeah this is the game to be used now for all this performance benchmark because this will really fry your GPU you can see the GPU load is all the time 100% guys and uh, let's just check what happens with the temperature ho, ho, ho. 21 21 and a half celsius guys and we have minus four outside so imagine what this game is doing to this phone right it's just really so crazy and yeah if you like what i do just please go and watch some of the previous videos because we're just only starting to touch the top of the iceberg with the snapdragon 8 elite and with the s25 ultra thank you so much for watching stay safe vst over and bye